Here's the guide UV mapping from After Effects to Blender and finally into Disguise, also known as a D3. Here's my reference pixel map imported into After Effects. For this exercise, we'll be creating an LED map using the dimensions from the row Amber 1.8 with each tile resolution of 320 by 180. However, the true map for designing the elements will be larger, but our pixel map will only consist of these pixels to fit into a 4K map. Quick tip in After Effects, if you want your guides to be right on the pixel, simply right click on the guide and enter either the exact coordinates or enter a mathematical operation. Here's the pixel map which will be UV mapping in Blender. In Blender, we are going to work with real world dimensions. For these LED tiles, we are using the row amber 1.8, so each tile is 0.6 meters or 600 millimeters by 0.3375 meters or 337.5 millimeters. Let's add a modifier to include all the tiles of the LED screen. Duplicate the surface since there are two parts of this build. Next, I duplicated the collections to keep the original, just in case things will change. And trust me, things will change. Now let's merge these two pieces, but first, I like to make the anchor points to the top left on each screen. Turning on vertex snapping and activating origin only, I guide the origins until it snaps to the top left of each piece. Turn off origin only and let's snap these two pieces to the way we have it designed. Let's then add a texture to the LED screen. Head over to the shading tab and import the pixel map that was rendered from After Effects. Once imported, head over to the UV editing tab. Make sure you click on faces and select all faces of the geometry. From the UV menu, scroll to unwrap and cube projection. Most likely, it will invert the coordinates, so rotate it by selecting all the faces and rotate it by 90 degrees. Click on each group of the faces and roughly place them on the pixel map. Now the fun part begins. Make sure to activate pixel coordinates in the view tab. This will enable you to type in the exact pixel dimensions rather than an integer between 0 and 1. Select the first group of tiles and highlight only the left vertices. All these will have an X value of 0. Highlight the top row of vertices and all of these will have a Y value of 2160. Let's highlight the right column and all of these will have an X value of 3840. In Blender, the zero intersection is the bottom left. So for the last row, we have to do some math. We can type in the expression 2160 minus 540, which is basically the height of the three tiles. To do the in-between tiles, we'll highlight the second column of vertices and type in the value of 320. The third column is 320 times 2. The fourth column is 320 times 3, and so on. For the horizontal, same principle applies. Now do the same thing for the second part. Just use mathematical expressions to finish the pixel map. Once the pixel map is finished, head back to the layout tab and visualize the design by wrapping it around in a circle. Add a circle and then add a curve modifier to the LED object. In the deform axis, make sure it's negative Y and select the circle as the curve object. Now you notice it's inside out. To remedy that, we'll just rotate the LED by negative 90 degrees. Let's just reduce the diameter of the circle a bit more, and we're done. To export this to D3 or Disguise, make sure to duplicate the collection, just in case things will change, and call this for export. Apply the curve modifier and delete the circle. 
In the object menu, select origin to object to center everything up. Now export the object using OBJ and do the following. Check selection only, check apply modifiers, check include UVs, and triangulate faces. Click export, now onto the skies. I made a new project in the D3 manager called demo. I did this ahead of time, but in your D3 projects, go into the demo folder. Make sure to import your mesh in the meshes folder and the map and content into the video folder. Now launch D3. Let's delete the unnecessary stuff and add our LED screen mesh. That will be under stage and LED screens. Name the screen and in the mesh, find the mesh that was created in Blender. To add content, in the timeline create a new video layer. In the media tab, select the pixel map. You may notice that the map looks wrong, so don't panic, just make sure you get the map the right resolution. In the properties of the LED screen, type in 4096 by 2160, since that is our content map resolution. For the finishing touch, let's add actual content. Quick tip, make sure the content is only showing in front only to reduce resources. Voila, that's UV mapping from After Effects to Blender and finally here in disguise.